And one bonus step for this section, and I say bonus because that's something that is can be very useful, but that may be not something you want to do for all your programs, is when you have actually a class like this with a header file and a CPP file, you can make it as a library. And now I'm going to show you how to do this. So making a class as a library can be very useful. So first, maybe you can use this in any of your program without having the files in the program. You can also export the library to share with other people. You can put the library on GitHub. You can publish the library uh, with uh, Arduino. So anyone could have access to a functionality that you have implemented. And the super great news is that once you have created a class like this with a clear code, well, this class is directly going to work as a library. You don't need to do any modification. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to go to sketch here and then show sketch folder. So basically you are going to go where you have saved the program or what is called the sketch with Arduino IDE. In this, you will see you have your I know file, which is the main file of your program, okay? And then you have, as you can see, led.h, led.cpp. If you don't see the extensions, well, you need to allow the extensions. So here it's on Windows. So on Views, here you can check the file name extension. As you can see, I don't have the led.cpp. And now file name extension, I have here, it's working again. So to create a library, well, here I am in my Arduino folder. So this is the Arduino folder you can find. So this is where you are going to save all your projects, okay? And you have here a folder named libraries, okay? In that folder, so you have a readme.txt with some instructions, and you may also have different libraries. I already have one here. You may have zero, that's not really a problem. So what you can do is to right click, create a new folder and name it, let's say, LED. So I'm going to name it as the class name here. So I name LED. I have an Arduino library named LED. Now I go back to my program, which is that one. And I'm going simply to cut and paste the header file and the CPP file inside that library folder okay with the led folder so now if i go back to my program i don't have the code anymore for cpp and .h so it's still here on the arduino ide because it doesn't update by itself so what i'm going to do now i'm going to restart the arduino ide so i have restarted the arduino ide and now you can see uh, the files are correctly updated so i don't have the header file i don't have the cpp file anymore and to use the LED library, now what I can do, because the LED library is kind of installed globally for the Arduino now on my computer. So what I can do is instead of quotes, I can use the angle brackets like this, LED.h. Okay, now if I compile, well, it's still working. I don't have any LED file here, but I have my Arduino LED library which is installed in the library folder of Arduino. So as you can see, that is super simple to create a library when you have already created um, object-oriented files with the header files and the CPP file. So now the library is here. So if I want to share the library, I simply share this. If I want to remove the library, I simply remove that folder. And well, that I can also modify the code directly here to modify the functionality. Okay, so that's a nice thing to do, but uh, for the following of the course, what I'm going to do is to continue using the files directly on the project, okay? If you are directly modifying the file for a project, you might want to have the file next to uh, the main file, so it's much easier to modify it. And well, you don't necessarily need to make any object-oriented uh, class a library, okay? It really depends on what you want to do. So here, I show you how you can do it in a very simple way, but it's not because you can do it that you should do it every time. What I'm going to do now, well, I'm going simply to retake those. So cut and paste inside my program back, okay? And then I'm going to go back to libraries and remove the LED library, okay? So that is done. And I'm going to restart again the 
Arduino IDE. Great, and now because the files are directly here inside the folder, I don't use angle brackets, I use quotes. Okay, and I am back to the previous situation to continue with the course.